Hello. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Ron Kimchi, uh, co-founder and CTO of E.ON. Thanks for coming. And uh, today we're going to talk about a really exciting topic. And we'll talk about the advancement in generative AI. Um, or actually, I think you'll have enough useless sessions about that topic this week. So instead, let's talk about something much more exciting. What some would say is the number one reason that reInvent is so popular, and that is, of course, cloud infrastructure backup. So you might think that backup was solved already, but in fact, we've seen that customers are struggling with huge pain points in the backup space. So let's talk a little bit about the challenges of cloud infrastructure backup. And I'll start with the story. But before we even dive into the details, let's talk about the reason. And that's the shared responsibility model. So AWS provides the best-in-class services for storage, compute, databases. But when we talk about the application, that's on you, on customers. So you need to make sure that your applications are secure the data is protected, and the data is backed up according to your requirements. And that's where we at Eon comes in. So let's dive into the actual challenges that we've seen customers face today. And the first is that cloud resource sprawl. We've seen customers struggle with that. And I'll start with that story. So before co-founding Eon, I was working at AWS and I was the general manager for the AWS Migration and Disaster Recovery Services. And over the years, we've seen from up close these challenges. And talking to one of our large enterprise customers in the travel and hospitality space, we've seen them facing a really big challenge that just didn't make sense for us. And they had the simplest requirement. All they wanted is to back up their production workloads that have customer data personal identifiable information, PII, for 90 days, meaning to store the daily snapshots for a daily, for 90 days, their production workloads that do not have customer data for 45 days, and all of their non-production workloads for 14 days. That's it, as simple as that. But then they found themselves, as many other enterprises, a centralized cloud operation team facing with all of the existing solutions that require them to manually tag each individual resource. Now they've migrated 10,000 VMs into EC2. And the challenge was that they had no idea what's running on what, a very typical problem in the cloud. So they tried. And whenever they thought they kind of got it right, another application team would spin up a new application and they would get that missed. Or the data would move. Another team would modernize an RDS database that, for example, a Postgres database from an EC2 to an RDS. And all of those tags would just get lost. So they tried and they tried and they ended up after three months just giving up and storing their backups for 90 days on everything. Just increasing the storage that they and the cost of their backups. And that didn't make sense. And when we talk about maintaining backup posture, we see that customers today have one knob. They can turn it to one side, increase the amount of days that they store their backups on, inflate the storage, have liability over data that they might not necessarily want, or turn the knob to the other side, shorten the retention, and take risk. The risk that they do not meet with their backup posture requirements with their compliance needs and that they do not retain snapshots or backups for long enough. And that didn't make sense. We had to solve that. But before we dive into the solutions, let's talk about another problem. Snapshots are searchable and restoration is a super challenging and cumbersome uh, operation today. So I'll share another story. Back in the day, I talked to a very large financial services institution. Now, they had 
millions of resources in the cloud and they were spending millions of dollars on backing up their data. And then an auditor comes in and asks them to show and prove that they're backing up their data properly. So they ask them to show all of the evidence so that they store all of the checks that John Doe wrote three years ago. And then started the most absurd process that we've seen. So they found out that the person who was responsible for backup three years ago is no longer an employee of the company. They had no idea where the data is. So they raised a SWAT team looking for tribal knowledge in the organization of where the backup is. What did they do three years ago? And then they had their own records and they found the snapshot in an ocean of millions of cloud snapshots. And then they tried to restore it. And all they wanted is to pull the data. But in order to access the data, they had to do an all or nothing restoration. That's what cloud snapshots allow you to do. So they restored that snapshot, that EC2 instance with the database from two years back. Now imagine that that snapshot had an operating system from three years ago. The security team immediately quarantined it. It had security vulnerabilities on it. They called in the security team to patch it. Two weeks later, they had the system patched, only to find out that they have an end-of-life database because it's old. They scheduled time with the DBA. A week later, they came in, upgraded the database set up all the connectivities, the connection, they finally got to the day where they can run that SQL query on the database, only to find out that it's not the table that they were after. And they did the entire process again. Eight weeks to get a compliance audit and to pull the data. So obviously that doesn't make any sense. They've paid for the storage for three years only to find out that they can't access it. They have to copy it aside only to get the data. So now, let's talk about how we've solved all of that with Eon. So, let's see what we're doing. We're the first of its kind, the first cloud backup posture management platform. First of all, cloud native deployment, everything is usage based in terms of billing, but then starts the magic. Eon will automatically classify all of the resources in your cloud environments, identifying what data is on all of the different cloud storage services, what applications are running on the resources, and which resources are running in production versus non-production. Now that allows customers to apply their business requirements into their backup policies. So all of a sudden, a customer can just say, hey, backup my production workloads that have PII for 90 days and they're done. No need for manual tagging. But that's not all. Now let's talk about our purpose-built, globally searchable backup storage tier. So we're storing the data in a much more efficient format, which allows instant access to the backups. You can run SQL queries directly on your backups. You can search across all of the backups for files, for database tables, and restore granularly files, folders, regardless if they originated in S3, in any of the other storage services, or in block devices. So basically, we've built the best product out there. I do encourage everyone to go out to our booth and have a look. And you can see that Eon had a completely new approach into cloud backup no longer requiring customers to use those black box snapshots that are vendor locked, that are not searchable, that are not acce allowing access to the actual data. So with that, Eon provides a fresh approach into cloud backup and we really decided to reinvent cloud backup now let's talk a little bit about our booth here. Uh, right over there, you have the Eon booth where you have a very cool uh, time travel that will invite you all to join us. You'll get a deep demo into the platform. You can see how we classify resources, how we manage inventory, and how the data classification is applied to backup. 
you'll also be able to see how the snapshots that Eon takes allows instant access. How you can, like that, just restore files, run SQL queries on backups, whether they originated with relational databases or with NoSQL databases as well. So for example, we can take a MongoDB, back it up in a unified, efficient format, and run those queries on that as well. So we've seen customers spending millions of dollars, anywhere between 10 to 30% of their cloud bill on backup, which is composed from the storage and the management, but can't use that storage that they're paying for. That did not make sense for us, and that felt like this is a time for a change, for a complete new paradigm shift and a new technology that allows customers to make their backups a useful asset, something that you can query, something that you can use. So it's still immutable, it's still object locked, it's still air gapped, but it doesn't mean that you can't use it, query it, and get a hold of your data. So um, I recommend you all to contact us if you want a deep dive uh, in our booth. We'll be happy to show you the product in action and see how Eon can help you with your backup challenges. So thank you very much, and I'll be here for any questions.